All right, guys, I know you've seen this lake so many times in a lot of my videos, but honestly, this is one of my favorite lakes to go. And it's honestly the only lake I could go to right now. Oh. But, like I said, tomorrow is going to be the first day of spring, March 19th. Normally it's the 20th, but this year it's the 19th. Now, most of the times when people come out here and they're going to do bass fishing, they like to cast more along, more along here. Okay, more towards the banks and everything else like that, but it's not really spawning season, so you don't want to do that. So where you want to cast is more out there. Depending on the wind too, the wind is going to play a major, major factor in whether or not you're going to catch fish or not. So, with the water temperatures being almost to the perfect temp, but not really, these fish are going to be still a bit low. They're still going to stay down low, but they're still going to chase. They're going to start feeding because spawning season is around the corner. If you see my last video, I have caught like seven fish just in this spot alone. So that's where we're gonna start out. But anyway, when you start coming out early, ah, oh, something honey. But when you start coming out early spring and everything, you are gonna start warming up your muscles. That is one of the most key things that you wanna do. They have one. I kind of caught him on the side though. Pretty good fish. I like to take pictures. But anyway, coming out around this time is going to give you a great chance to really. What the heck? Oh, it's right here. Really get out, warm up your muscles, get not only that, but test out your equipment. To make sure that it's all gonna function just right. Most people are not gonna do that, but it's super crucial, and especially if you're gonna get like, uh, if you're gonna get new equipment, you want to make sure you get that tuned up before. Uh, before the actual season gets here because you don't want to be out. Sorry about the wind. But you don't want to be out with new equipment and then have things go horribly, horribly wrong. And trust me, I've learned the hard way. Okay, I really have. So going out around this, this time of year is perfect. I hit again. I think they're just chasing it.
you notice that I'm not really reeling that fast. Thirdly, why it's important to come out around this time of year when the lakes are dethawed, there's no ice. It's because depending on the state you live in, will determine like how thick the ice is actually going to get. If the ice is thick enough, it could actually move some of these laydowns without you without you knowing. So coming out around this time of year, and to figure out all that is one of the best things because like let's talk about the lay down right in front of me okay that lay down could have been about an inch over but depending on the ice and how thick it is it might have started to form around that area that could have moved it over an inch without me even knowing that it got moved so say that i come out uh during spawning season and i didn't do my homework and figure out where that lay down was i would have never known that it moved over a full inch so those three things right there will help you throughout the rest of the season. And I mean, granted, it's still gonna be cold. And everything but it is well worth it there's one ah oh, he let go i didn't even feel it tug That was heavy too, but around this time of year, they're gonna, uh, a lot of these fish are gonna fight really, really hard. Like right now, my uh, middle finger is frozen a little bit, but it's okay. And it's mainly because of the wind and and the water so that is a that's the combination right there so again with it being early spring and early into the season like it's still going to be out uh, further and everything and so you want something that's going to dive down and everything and you want to keep it moving because that's what they're going to target they kind of target something moving. So if you attempt to use like something like a bass jig, they're really not going to go after all that much because it's not really a moving bait. Hey, not like the chatter dog spinner baits and all of them. I know within the comments, you guys are going to say, well, technically it is a moving bait, but not really because the only thing you have to do is just let it sit and then pop it. So it's really not much of a moving bait. I mean, yeah, you can still use it this time of year, but you're playing a very high risk game with that when it comes to that.
So I'm gonna stop talking right now until we get to another spot. But we also are supposed to get some rain here in a couple of days. There's one. Oh. That's a nice size one. Definitely wasn't getting off. looks beautiful get a picture for my X profile but whoa this one definitely try to uh, He wanted it. That's why he chased it. About it. Two pounder. And carried my line to try to save it, but that's gonna. All right, but this is why, again, it's important to have different things during this time of year. And why it's always important to have an arsenal, uh, depending uh, depending on the time of year or the time of day. Uh, reason behind that is because that's because they stop chasing one type of uh, bait. Uh, it doesn't mean they're not gonna chase anything. They're not gonna go after anything. Changing, changing your bait can make the difference. And a lot of people, and I have seen this, uh, they'll do a couple of laps around the lake and only use one type of bait and when they don't get anything they just say like, okay they're not biting so I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna fish anymore today but when you have the right arsenal with you you have different options that you can use that could actually save a uh, fishing trip and that's one of the things people need to learn like even if you're like a soft plastic type of person and 
let's say that you use a a crawl okay they're not going after a crawl you could put a uh, you could put a fluke on and they could go they could go raise this one oh my god oh oh my god can I come on get up oh my god guys I'm gonna put my boot next to it real quick. That's my boot. That is my boot. And he took himself off. Oh my god. Guys. That's like a freaking four pounder. Oh my god. Look at that, guys. And I don't even have my skill with me. I'm definitely gonna have this picture on my X. Oh my god. Look how. Oh my god, guys. This is like chunky. I had to get a picture. Oh my god, guys. This is why you never give up on anything, okay? Do not give up. Yeah, she was heavy. And there she goes. That is why you don't give up. You keep on chucking. <sighs> All right. You keep on fighting. Okay, no matter how tough the weather is. Okay, guys, this is why I'm making this video. Yes, you're going to run into some hard freaking days. You really are. Okay. But after the first hour and you give up, guys, you want to stay out for a couple of hours. Okay, no matter how cold, how hot it is. Okay. I even make videos in the rain. There's another one. These hooks are sharp. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're sharp. Okay? Okay, it is cold out here right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. It is cold. But I'm still out here. I'm still fishing. I'm still trying to make a video. I'm having a blast right now, okay? And especially with you guys who wants to dream 
big, okay? You want to drink big. That's another one. Ah! All that grass gave him an opportunity to run away. But yeah, you're gonna run into problems like that. Okay? Really are. You're gonna run into problems that like once you start getting them up, they're gonna shake very, very violently. Um, sometimes you're not getting the uh, you could be delayed on hook sets and stuff like that. All right, you really can. But these are the things that a lot of us just keeps on going. If you dream big, you want to go into like the Bass Masters and you know, everything. These guys, those guys are out there for about eight hours fishing. Okay, they're going in uh, rain. They're going in uh, very windy conditions. They're going. Uh, very hot conditions. 